Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 Online video. Now, in this video, I want to tell you guys about the three methods that I have been using the most to make money currently and in its current state with the economy in Red Dead Online. Now, one of them is going to be something that I've really never have gone over with anybody. And it's kind of uh, the way that Rockstar has kind of been making us play lately. But I will get to that at the very end of the episode. So the first two are going to be um, not really normal. I do have one that's going to be normal that I do actually consistently use. But this one right here is a, a kind of a brand new one, but it's kind of mixed up. Now, none of these money-making methods that I'm going to be showing you guys that I use personally uh, is going to be a cougar or a panther. Now, this is probably one of the first times ever that I have not done that. So basically what I'm looking for is like condors, bald eagles golden eagles hawks or what things like that in the game and you can see that i have a condor right here now basically what i've been doing is in search of these bad boys as much as possible now these things do net a decent amount of income especially a three star that will give us the best obviously be considering it's a perfect uh but we're going to be able to get to three feathers from each of the birds now Condors you can pretty much fl find flying everywhere, but there are two spots that I would like to show you guys specifically uh, that you guys can find an eagle just chilling there every single time. Now, one is actually pretty close, and actually I just swore I heard an eagle, and actually that one might be right there. Perfect. Uh, so if you look right there, we've got the hawk, and we've got a the bald eagle right there. So those are actually two locations for you guys just right off the bat. Got a couple of ravens that we could go ahead and take if we wanted to. I can't remember how much the hawks actually go for, but I'm going to go ahead and give him a shot and just let you guys know where he's at. And then the bald eagle is obviously over there if you guys want to go and pick him up. But you know what? If we're specifically looking for birds, we're actually more looking for the feathers anyway, and we don't necessarily have to keep the carcass so that's something to keep in mind so the two locations that i'm currently at i'm going to show you guys where this is at right here and they do seem to spawn here pretty often and it's at this location right above the end in new austin and pretty much just a little bit south of the mining facility uh, at gap tooth ridge so that's one location uh, like you saw, the hawk was here and the baldy was here. And then you have obviously condors flying all over in this entire location. Now for the next spot that we're going to go, and I'm going to show you guys where an eagle is going to be at. It's actually not that far away. Uh, it's actually going to be right down in uh, at the, the shack area where you guys can do the fish glitch, which is still working, believe it or not. Um, and we can actually go down here and check it out to see if there are any fish in the area. But that's not what I'm looking for. My top three methods are still going after birds, but it's the different types of birds. Now, typically there is a, a, a like a golden eagle that's chilling up here. And if you look over there, there's again actually going to be a couple crows that are, that are ch chilling there. And if we look up, you can actually stuff them in your satchel. So those will always net to your your income as much as possible. But right up on that ledge is where the uh the golden eagle will sit now i did have a gang hideout show up right now so i'm actually going to take advantage of that but here is a bonus one here is a rough legged hawk and then we have a condor right there as well uh, so i'm going to get him to fly if i can and he's flying that way and we're going to give him a shot and then we got a nice condor right there but he's not really going to fly I kind of want him to fly over. There we go. That might actually might work. Let's give a stop to the horse. And he's like straight above me, so I can't quite lock on him. But I kind of want that. Where did he go? Did it... He just despawned on me. All right. Well, that works, I guess. So, yeah, here's the hawk. And all I want is his feathers anyway. And then they're actually... So on the way over to, and I'm going to show you guys on the map where this exactly is at, but the, I found him pretty much right where my horse is at. 
right by Benedict Point. All right, guys, I have another location for you guys, and it's really close to the gang hideout that I just got done completing. But we have another Golden Eagle opportunity, and it's going to be right at this location. So uh, we have one that's at Benedict Point right here. We also have one that's going to be right here. And then we have the... Uh, there was a hawk here, a golden eagle or a bald eagle here. There's a golden eagle here. And then condors all around the area. Uh, now, there is one last one by Repentance Rock that I haven't got quite to. And it's typically a bald eagle. I haven't really seen it be anything else. And I'm going to go ahead and pluck this guy. And But I'm just going to show you guys on the map where it's actually located. But if you go over to Repentance Rock, which is going to be, you know, this one right here. Typically, there's an eagle sitting actually right about here in this general location. Now, sometimes there's a gang hideout over there and it will spawn with the gang hideout, but sometimes it's not. But I would like to move on to the next method. All right, everyone, I am back and I'm back with the second location to make some extra cash here in Red Dead Online. And we are at the Butcher in Blackwater and we're going to be going right across the street and looking for lake sturgeon in this area. So if we grab out our fishing pole, let's go ahead and see what we have out here. And you can see that we actually have a couple in the water right now, just right there. And I do have my special lake lure equipped, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a toss. And then what we want to do is we just want to slowly reel this thing in. Now, for whatever reason, there are no lake sturgeon here at the time that you guys come. All you have to do is just turn around right out of town and then come right back to this location and a new group of fish will go ahead and spawn. Now, you're going to want to have to get your fishing rod as close to the shore as possible. And then when you hook this fish, you should just have to let it do its thing. I'm just going to check and see where this fish is at. There we go. We're going to hook it and it's right on the shore. So we just have to like control it just a little bit here. And then as soon as it's done fighting, we're just going to go ahead and reel this thing in and we're going to be able to make an easy little bit of cash. So we're going to grab this thing. We're going to pick it up. The only thing I don't like about this one is the animation does take just a little bit of time. But then all we have to do is keep it, turn around, run to the butcher right behind us. And then we just have to go ahead and sell it to the butcher. And then we just repeat the entire process. And we're going to get $7.25 every single time that we go ahead and do this. Now all you have to do is run back over to this location. And you can start the process all over again. Now the only people that will really know that you're here are is if there are if one is if you're a target. Or two is if another blue player happens to to be in the area. So then you can just re restart the entire process. Now, I like doing this at night personally. Uh, it's easier for me to see the fish, which makes it a little bit simpler to obviously catch them. And then you should be able to come back here. And I usually get um, a few... A few fish at a time. So that fish did get a little bit scared, but I want it to be a little bit closer... All right, so it's only been, you know, a few seconds later, and it looks like two more are coming into the bait. So I'm just barely even reeling this thing in, and you can actually see them being pretty attracted to this. So well, this one's going to get to it first. So we just got a hook, line, and sinker. Perfect. And we just got to control him a little bit. And, and then as soon as he's done fighting, you just have to kind of flick up on the left stick and then reel in at the same time. And it should be easy peasy. And there we go. Now all I have to do is pick him up. Just run across the street. Give him to the butcher. And make an extra $7.25. Now this other guy is just chilling basically right in front of me. He's begging to be caught by me. But that's so easy to do, and I definitely recommend that if you guys have never done this, that you guys go ahead and make the $7.25. Even just for a few times, uh, super simple to make the $7.25. But now what I would like to do is move on to the third and final money-making opportunity that I have for you guys. Now, one of the last things that I enjoy actually doing recently, and that's uh, I've been doing it a lot in the stream lately, is actually um, is doing some showdown menu modes. And uh, Most Wanted is actually one of my more favorite ones. And uh, basically, you, you can actually make some decent uh, money 
by doing it. Now, you're not going to get super rich, but it is an option to make some extra cash. Now, the game did just barely start, so obviously I'm kind of focusing on what I'm doing here. And this guy in front of me is actually running away, and I want to try to get to him as quickly as possible because he's worth a lot of points. I don't know if I... I don't think I... How did I not hit him, though? He's, he's down in this area somewhere. He's hiding, but this is a great money opportunity. At least I think so. And uh, you guys can give it a try. I mean, there we go. Now we took the lead. But yes, uh, you know, these, if, you, if you get in the top three, you're going to make some good amount of money by, by doing this. And can't see because of my, the cactus was in the way. Woo. Who was shooting at me? I actually don't know who was shooting at me. But yeah, this is a great way to make some extra cash. And you don't really have to, you know... And honestly, you'll improve your hunting skills and so many other things if you guys just go ahead and do just a little bit of showdown. Now, I'm not saying you need to spend hours doing it by any means. But just enough to really... Uh, you know, enough to really just... Get first, get second, get third a few different times and have fun with it and enjoy yourselves playing, you know, Red Dead, no matter what opportunities that you guys are, are doing to make money in. Wait, where did that guy go? Ah, there we go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Anyway, so that's kind of where I'm going to go ahead and leave it. You guys just enjoy yourselves playing some Red Dead. And that's that's what it's all about. It's all about just having a good old time in in the lobbies that we've that we've been given. And I know that Red Dead will grow over time, and I'm super excited for that. Oh, at least I got at least I got a nice little kill real quick before that happened. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But till next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. There you go, guys. That's how you get number one in most wanted in tumbleweed.